because it shines a little bit because of the gel content, I can see a little bit better where I've spread the hand sanitizer on. It will also dry a little bit slower. Okay, there we go. Before we keep talking, we don't wanna to wait too long. And since we already have our markers there, we're gonna put the Ziploc bag over there and we're gonna gently but firmly press with our hands. You want to make sure that you press from the center out. Just make sure you get all the spots. Okay, I think I pretty much got it. Now I'm, I'm going to lift. And there you go. You have um, your print. Now, if I touch it, it's already dry. That's how fast um, the hand sanitizer that has a lot of alcohol and the alcohol will work. Before we do our second step, which is um, the phrase, inspirational phrase over here and a one line um, flower drawing that I'm gonna show you how to do, we're gonna label, we're gonna label our print. And say we're gonna do four prints, four different prints. Um, you will label the title of your print at the bottom. This one is Sunshine. And then you will write one out of four because this is the first out of the four prints that I'm gonna make. And then you're gonna write your name on the other side. I'm gonna write my initial and the last name and the year. Okay, this is how most uh, prints and professional printmaking artists um, label their prints and if you happen to have a print in your house and um, at the bottom it says 301 out of 500 that means that artist made 500 prints and you happen to have the 305th print okay so uh, for our next step you will grab a black sharpie or a black permanent marker um, it does have to be permanent I'm going to use the thinner tip for this one, which is basically about the same as a regular Sharpie. Okay, and I'm gonna show you how we are going to do the one trace flower first. So the one trace flower is basically one line that you will use, um, and you will not take your marker away from the paper, and this will create different sections on your flower that you will later go in and be able to color. And there's my flower. So before I color it in, I wanna write the title or the inspirational phrase, which is for this one. There we go. So there, you can see it. And I'm gonna color in my flower. You can color it in with the colors, some of the colors that you used for your print already, so that you keep the same color scheme. Or you can use different ones. Make sure you don't go all the way where you're gonna use other colors to go inside. purposes but you can take your time you can make a more ornate flower or image that goes with the inspirational phrase that you're going to use for your print Again. 
again, this is a really fun project. You can actually reuse this one or two more times and get um, really good prints. And now I'm gonna do my leaf and that shall be the end of our printmaking project. Like I said, if you don't have permanent markers, you can use water markers and just use water with a sponge or rag. Remember to mark, mark the corners so you don't get all the paper wet and that's, that's our project for today, guys. Um, good luck. I hope that you enjoy this project and I will keep posting um, projects for this um, great level um, every week, so stay tuned.